If you're a Studio One user, the Arranger track can be used for more than just arranging. It's also a great tool when it comes to composing music. Check this out. One of the great things about the Arranger track is when you set up a block, that block will grab all the information above it and below it. It'll grab all the information contained in the tempo, the signature, the lyrics, and the marker track, which is a great thing to happen. So here we have a few meter changes in a piece of music. Uh, let's put in some tempo changes, all right? This is at 103 right here. Let's go here, and we'll change this down to 97. Then we'll go here, add a, add a tempo change here. We'll bring it up to 108, put one here, and bring it down to 104. So there we go. Here are meter changes and tempo changes. So let's play that. Okay, so we had meter changes and, and tempo changes going on right there. Let's establish a block. Then we can drag it out to any place we want. And once we drag it to where we want, everything is tied to that area in that block. When we move it, we'll select Ripple, we'll select this block, and let's just duplicate it. And look, all that stuff traveled with it. So you'll hear that. <laughs> So you get the idea. This is something that you can use to not just rearrange verses and choruses, but you can actually, it'll help you compose because you can drag these blocks anywhere you want to drag them. It'll even move stuff in the lyrics track. Uh, I'll give you an idea here. Let's say from this verse, we want to take the first four bars of the verse and just we're just going to loop it, okay? We can establish an arranger block. It says verse. That's, it could say bridge. It could say anything. It doesn't matter what it says. You can make it whatever you want. But anyway, we want to uh, repeat these four bars and the lyrics, etc. in the lyrics window. Hit ripple, duplicate. Let's take a look at the lyrics. Here we go. Second thoughts about leaving my house Worried I might not make it back home Second thoughts about leaving my house. All right, so just to let you know, it will even, you know, update the lyrics window when you do that. All right, so I'm going to show you now me working with the tune and using the arranger track to help me compose the tune. Actually, I'm trying out different ideas. Some of them are working, some of them aren't, but you'll hopefully get an idea of what the arranger track can do to help you uh, while you're composing. My opinions can't keep them in a jar There's hooded agents on my block Circling in their car Circling in their car Circling in their car I want to repeat that You want 49 and 50 to repeat First thing I do is establish an arranger block for measures 49 and 50 Next. I establish an arranger block for everything that follows measure 50 to the end of the song. Then I drag the arranger block that starts at measure 51 downstream several measures to give myself a space to repeat measures 49 and 50. Okay, we still want this to repeat, so we'll just option drag that, right? And then we want the four bars prior to the first verse. We want that. Let's grab that. So we want that here, so option drag that to here, drag this to here, let's just drag this down to here. So after repeating measures 49 and 50, I needed four bars of the verse progression to follow. I grabbed those four bars from the beginning of the verse and placed them after the repeated measures. 
Then I brought forward what used to be measure 51 and the rest of the song and butted that up against the four bars I stole, which in effect meant I added six bars to the song. Then I'll put the song back together and we've added six bars to the song here, right here. Yeah, make that two bars instead of not liking the four bars I added, I decided to just add two. So I grabbed the last two bars of the four bars I stole, got them out of the way, and then dragged the rest of the song forward to join them up to the other two bars. Some riff thing. Then, seems like only yesterday. Okay. After listening to the result, I realized the two bars I needed were the first and fourth bars from the four bars I stole. So I had to put that together. And I did. The second bar here. So with the arranger, I grabbed the second bar and then dragged it out of the way after the song. And then with the arranger, I selected the fourth bar out of the four bars I had nabbed earlier and moved it down into position to be the second bar of the two bars that I wanted to happen. Which made those two bars, bar one and bar four of the four bars I stole. Listen to that. There you go. Seemed like only yesterday I was free to speak my mind But cowards took over Washington it's a different time. Cowards to the No. Yeah, your this whole thing didn't work. <laughs> How funny. Uh, I don't know if it's actually funny or sad. Um It's not what you want to do. You fucked up. That's okay. Not the end of the world. So, using the arranger, I selected the six measures I just put together and got them out of the way because I didn't like them. You tried it, and you figured out it didn't work, which is okay. Boom, put this down here, and you take this and just put it back together and continue working. But I got to find out if I liked that idea or not, and I didn't like it. This is what's cool about the arranger tool in Studio One. You can try something out, and if it doesn't work out, you can put your song back together and get back to work. So we're not gonna rearrange this stuff, so let's get rid of this, it's confusing. Get rid of that. Okay, I was showing this to a friend, and he goes, he goes there was a section earlier that uh, you need to come back to uh, toward the end. It's this section he liked. So obviously that's a very, it's just the idea of that, not that exactly. So I'm thinking, uh, let's grab this here. So, I establish an arranger block at the beginning of the section my friend suggested that I reuse. <music> Knowing I'm not going to use the next section that comes in, I know I need to grab at least a little bit of it to use this section at the end of the song. Also, I needed to clean up the little tidbits I had from editing earlier that I had placed after the song, so I did that real quick. This gave me a place to drag a copy of the section I wanted to reuse. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is going to sound totally crazy. I know it will. But you never know when it comes to this stuff. Um, boom. Here I establish an arranger section so I can drag the ending of the song out of the way to place the new section I want to repeat. I know this is going to sound stupid. I'm already prepared to not like it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Holy shit. That's Todd Rundgren-esque right there. Just going. <laughs> that is, that's something Todd Rundgren would have done back when he was doing acid. <laughs> I actually think that's kind of neat. Okay, I'll, well, that's something i got to figure out. Kind of crazy. Instead of going there, that meow. Let's just get rid of that. So here I'm separating the very next section away from the section I wanted to reuse. And now I'm going to drag up the ending of the song and see if I can tie it onto the reuse section to see how they work. See we can, if this will butt up against that. I, there's no way this is going to work. Okay, so you don't want that part. Right, let's give it to this bar 2-4 here. This, this might work. So now I adjust the arranger block to grab that bar 2-4 and just drag it out of the way. I make a new arranger block so I can grab the ending of the song and drag it onto what's in front of it. Get rid of this 2-4 time signature. Get rid of this 4-4 four, four time signature, doesn't matter. Drag this to here. Holy mackerel. Orchestration is obviously not right. And what is this? Is this this flange pad that's... That will that extend? Oh wow, just let that sing ring out. Quick change of the length of the pad here. the dissonance. Then you get it to build where the build reaches this intensity right here. Yeah, you figure out a way to make it build through there to get to that intensity and then you end with the, uh, with the figure that you're ending with. Cool. I like the idea. I'll make it work. So, the arranger track, a very cool tool to help you compose. It can help you rearrange, but it, but it can also help you compose. This is Rusty Smith for Record, Mix, Repeat. If you like what you're seeing, please come back.